All right, General H here, and I'm going to show you on this show how to get rare Swedish M90 camo. Okay, on the, as far as what the camo is, some of you guys know what it is, maybe some of you don't. Um, this is M90 camouflage. Awesome, right? Uh, almost like a fashion statement also. Let's look at that, look at that. Okay, keep going. Now, this is off a of form. Uh, a lot of the good information, and this is probably like the best one, I like that. Um... It's from a website called airsoftcanada.com. It's a, they have a thread about, uh, uh, and apparently this is really rare stuff. And this took me days to research, uh, literally probably like uh, two and a half days, maybe three days of research on how to get a hold of this rare M90 Swedish camo. Now, um, I saw his camouflage on a shooting uh, video I saw on YouTube. Uh, I think his name is Rare, I, no, I'm sorry, what was his name? Uh, Iraq Veteran 888 or something like that. Um, awesome video. I just fell in love with the jacket when I saw it. And uh, it's actually the AK burn that Iraq Veteran 8888 did. I'm looking at it right here in front of me. Um, if you guys want to see it, you can see the Swedish M90 uh, camo uh, for yourself. Um, basically, best place to get this camo straight from Sweden. You can't really find it anywhere else. Um, you go to a web page called garderobin.se, that's for a Swedish website, uh, G-A-R-D-E-R-O-B-E-N.se, okay? So let's look at that right there. Now when you go to the web page, let me see if I can zoom in. When you go to the web page, I don't know about y'all's, uh, I'm using Google Chrome, I don't know about everybody's uh, platforms or with how they're surfing the net, but... Uh, when I do it, something automatically pops up saying, um, it's in Swedish, do you want us to translate it? I push yes, I get, it's pretty good translation. Uh, I've even emailed uh, back and forth with other companies and found out that they don't uh, ship to U.S. Uh, I'm here in the United States. And um, uh, I use the uh, iTranslate app on my phone and I don't know a lick of Swedish, but I, I actually translate with them. I translate what I want to. They email me back in Swedish and I tr put that in my app found out what they said and basically said, oh, they don't, they don't uh, ship to um, United States. This company, Garter Robin, does ship to the U.S. Uh, if you see my checkout right there, and there's a couple things you're going to need to know. It's not just as simple as checking out. Uh, here's the M90 camel jacket. That's with the drawstrings on the waist. I really like that, and it's an M90 cap, okay? Uh, sizing, that's going to be a real intimidating issue to buy an M90 camel. Uh, basically... It's going to have a one number in the front and a slash and another number. The first number is how tall you are in centimeters. So I just went to Google. I put 180 centimeters to feet. It gave me my height. That's what I'm at. I'm about, about five, uh, eight, nine, nine ish. Uh, that's the best size for me. It looks like. I hope I'm doing it right, but it looks like that's my best option considering the other options that were there. Um, the next number is going to have a slash. And the next number you see is 105 kg. I translate. I just put in Google. Just go to Google and put 105 k kilograms, two pounds, and I gave it like 230 something. I'm like a 230, 250 ish. Uh, there was another I was more close to 250, but uh, 250 pounds. But it was uh, um, it was out of stock. Okay, this is in stock. I'm gonna try it. You know, maybe maybe it's gonna fit. Maybe I won't zip it up. I don't know. Maybe it will be great. I've heard that they run larger in size, so that, that might be perfect. Um, and losing some pounds anyways. But basically, the first number is going to be your total height from toe to feet. From feet, uh, I'm sorry, not toe to feet. From feet to head, head to feet. And then your your the second after number after the slash is going to be the uh, pounds. Okay. Um, hat sizes. Seemed like it was regular, like American sizes, small, medium, large. Um, and actually, I have the wrong size on here. Okay, I'm going to fix that before I check out. Okay, But, um, also too, you can go to Google and go to Swedish uh, currency to, or actually it's the CR, I think it is. Uh, KR, KR. Swedish KR, $2, and you can see how much you're spending too. Credit card. Is automatically going to switch it for you. Um, they, they, the first time I attempted it, they put a block. Okay, uh, when you, when they put that block, 
you had to call them and tell them, you know, that you are trying to buy some in Sweden, in, you know, United States. They thought it was a fraud thing. Tell them to unlock it. They're going to unlock it. I'm going to attempt it again. Now, when you're buying after the checkout, when you actually check out, you put your info in there. Okay. The most important thing, you get stuck, it's going to say civic. If you translate the thing, it's going to say civic. Okay. I thought that was, okay, maybe I put Mr., right? Mr. Uh, and in my name. It's really, I looked it up. It's really like they want your social security number. It's like their equivalent, their civil number. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't let me get past that point on trying to check out unless I uh, put something there. I didn't know what to put. I kept putting Mr. I put Sir. Uh, I thought it was like, you know, like here in the United States. I looked it up. It's really uh, four digits, a dash, and two digits. Uh, no, wait. Four, five, six, six digits. And... Let me look at it. Hold on. I'll look at it for you. It's uh, ten digits total. Ten dig digits. Uh, the first six... You're going to have six and a dash, and then you put the rest, okay? Uh, a hyphen. Six numbers, a hyphen, and you put the rest. I put zeros just to get past that point. Okay, you're going to get stuck there. Put six zeros, a dash, or a hyphen, that's what they're called, right? And then uh, put the rest on, okay? But you want ten digits total, okay? And I found that by just looking on Wikipedia. I just, you know, I just put a... Uh, um, uh, I forgot what I put. It was, it was a Sweden uh, civic number. Okay, and then you come out with the personal identity number. It's kind of like Social Security. You can find it on Wikipedia. Okay, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, I'm gonna go and fix this hat size on my uh, on my checkout. I'm gonna make sure I get a medium. Uh, and like I said, once you get past the civic number, you unlock your credit card. You got Swedish M90 camo straight from Sweden. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and then I'll uh, go and put a video later when that comes in.